Before the video begins, I just want to iterate that in order to fix packet loss, at least on your end, you might have to replace some equipment until the problem is fixed. Now, um, if you're running on Wi-Fi, I strongly don't recommend it because there could be stuff that interferes with the wireless signal and you can get yourself a power line adapter if you cannot get a modem uh, slash router in towards your room or it there could be a problem with your ethernet cable uh, to and from the modem to the router to the computer to the console so you want to troubleshoot any wires in between um, it could be a problem with your router slash modem so you're gonna have to be doing some troubleshooting on the physical equipment such also with your computer or consoles as well so to figure out where the packet loss is coming from. If it's not coming from your end, it could be coming from your ISP's end or the server end. But we're gonna get more to that into the video. I just wanna iterate and give the expectation of you do have to troubleshoot on your end uh, for the physical equipment if there is a internet problem or if there's a packet problem. So enjoy the rest of the video. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters. If you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are, you can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like, the, the, it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then, you know, you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features, and look at all these great features. Uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codexual, and today we're gonna to be talking about packet loss. Yes, we have Fortnite up and open because we're gonna be talking about gaming uh, if you are a gamer, but however, we're gonna to get to, to that in a second. Um, we have command prompt here, which we're going to be using a TCP view to pull the IP address of the server on Fortnite. And we also have ping plotter. You can get ping plotter for free. You don't have to get the pro version. Um, but there is the free version, which is works very the same. So, uh, where to begin? Let's start off with the command prompt and let's see what pops up. The one thing that we're looking at is time. So usually with uh, this is a good ping. The lower the ping, the better. However, if I'm starting to see, why, why is this not going? Oh, yeah, let me uh, cancel out. There we go. Okay, so the thing we're looking at is the time. Now, if the ping starts getting higher and higher and higher, then that means you're getting a packet loss. There's a dead server or you have a hardware problem. So this could play on your end. This could play on your ISP's end. This could play on Google's end or Fortnite's end. So everything looks fine. Now, let's go ahead and run um, a ping uh, it's more like a trace route, what we're doing, but we're going to see it mapped out. So we go ahead and type in uh, google.com here. And now we're going to start seeing. Um, now we're going to start seeing stuff. Actually, let me, let me close out of this because I want to open up a new trace. Okay, so. Uh, I'm on this end or this end right here, either, or I think I would be on this end. Um, nonetheless, the one things that you got to worry about is these two, your local network, which yours could say 192.168 point something point something or 10.0.0.1. Uh, but it's the very top one. That's your local network. If you start to seeing packet loss right here, that's a problem. That is a you problem. You need to replace out your cables, your ethernet cables, your router. Now, and or the cable modem or DSL modem right here is also a you slash them problem. Excuse me. 
Uh, can I get a bless you in comments, please? Um, anywho, on the second line is a you problem and or a them problem because this is where your modem is at. I would like to bring up an illustration here. So right here is uh, where, where can I draw? I'd like to draw. Uh, Use my supporter credit code in the item shop. Anyways, so right here's your, your router slash modem, right? And it's being connected towards the NID, which is the network interface device that's either outside of your home or inside of your garage, depending where it's placed. Then it's running a cable all the way to the service box. So this is the service box where everyone's connected towards to. Then it runs on the line to another service box and until it gets to the central office. Um, then this is, could where the, this could be the ISP or this could be the ISP right here. It depends on how you want to visualize it. So from ISP internet service provider to the Google servers or the Fortnite servers, what have you. So without trying to confuse you on the second line where it shows packet loss, which I am getting, it could be the modem that you have problems with. It could be the NID and it could be the service box. So that means what you can do on your end is to check the equipment, uh, to run a factory set on it, or replace out the cables, go to your internet service provider, replace the modem, and get yourself the new modem. And if it happens to fix, it, fix the packet loss, then awesome. If not, then you have to call up your internet service provider and bug them to check the wiring inside your house, uh, the network interface device and go to the service box, so on and so forth. So, um, a lot of stuff is all about your physical equipment of why you're getting packet loss. Now, if it goes from, if you're getting packet loss from here on out, this is out of your reach. There's nothing you can do. This is going to be an ISP problem. Now, right here, it shows 100% packet loss for some odd reason. It's trying to ping a non-existent server. And uh, that's completely normal if it pops up like that. Don't worry about this. But worry about the stuff that is connected. So we have a problem right here. We also have a packet lost um, that's going down in California. And there's another packet loss. And wherever this is at, this is on Google's end because it's getting closer to Google. So um, I have four servers, nodes, whatever you want to call them, that has packet loss. This one would be more applicable that I could fix it on my own or have my ISP fix. But for these two, I would have to band together a whole bunch of people from California that's from Sunnyvale and also from Great Oaks and be like, hey, you know, uh, I'm having problems playing my Fortnite because I have packet problems. So let's start a petition and let's go knock down on Comcast's door and be like, you know, fix this problem, fix it right now. So um, this is something that would be on a mass scale of trying to get a bunch of people to complain about these two uh, big servers. But this one, again, this one would probably be, I could fix it or an ISP would have to fix the wiring outside. Um, there's a couple of stuff that we can do as for software wise, try to fix a ping to lower it. But as for packet lost, it really depends on your equipment if it's faulty. So again, uh, check, check your modem, check your wiring, check your computer slash Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, what have you. And uh, that's all you could do on your end is to check out the equipment. Um, but I'm going to explain how to alleviate or if that's the proper word that I'm going to be using, if we could help you get a proper ping that would help lower it, you still might have packet loss. So I cannot guarantee it, but we can definitely lower the ping as well. Okay. So as for getting, um, as for getting packet loss, whenever you play Fortnite, right? Uh, when you're in a game uh, on the top left, right about this area, it'll start to say packet loss, packet loss, packet loss. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. We're going to pull the IP address of the server that we're going to be connected to. Um, I would like to be on the West Coast. So we're going to select auto. Uh, I don't want to go creative. I would like to do a team rumble. 
no fill. Because I know a lot of you are like, oh, hey, uh, what's the problem with the gaming server? So we also want to check out if there's a problem coming on the gaming server's end as well, not just on your end. Make sure you guys also go to the item shop. Use my supporter creator code credential. Make sure you make sure my name's in there at least once a week. Pretty please and thank you. We're just waiting for the game to set up so I can pull the IP address. Um, I'm using TCP view, which is completely free. And all of this is completely legal if you're wondering. Um, but when you pull up TCP view, you're going to be looking for your Fortnite client by looking for the F blue F icon, and then it'll show the IP address. Once we get into a match right now, we don't have a connection going on. All right, now that we're in a server, uh, make sure you go to the remote address. And let me extend this out a little bit more. We want to look at the most uh, packets that is being sent because that's the server. So sent packets, received packets. The most packets that sent is going to be the server that you're looking at. So this is the server that we're on. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy uh, the connection. And uh, I'm gonna open up Notepad here. Okay, so now we have the information copied. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the host name. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, run a, oops. hit new. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it. Now, we're going to see if there's going to be any packet loss. So there was just a packet loss right there. And as you see, um, hold on, let me, let me send some data their way so we can get a, like a proper ping. That's not it. That's it. Okay. So um, as the character moves, it's sending that data. And when it, when it shows here, there's a, we're having a packet issue right here. And we're also having a hundred percent packet issue as well, which is actually a huge problem. If we're having a hundred percent packet issue, that's something that's coming on their end. Now, if you look at the graph here on the top left, you see that there was just a packet loss. We're waiting. We have a 2% packet loss, another 2%. This is something that's coming on their end. This is something that you cannot do anything about. This is a them problem. Yeah, you can send an email and say, hey, you know, there's a problem with your servers, but this is a them problem. There's nothing that you can do about it. So knowing that it's a them problem is awesome because there's nothing wrong on my end, but that means you're gonna have to switch to a different server, uh, playing on East, um, on uh, East Coast or back out of the game and get back into a new game and hopefully you don't get on that mega server again. So I hope that this uh, this tells you if it's a them problem or if it's a you problem. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize out of this. So as for getting a lower ping, um, we're gonna be changing our DNS settings. So you can do this on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. I'll leave links in the description of how to do it properly. Um, but I would like to go towards my network adapter and go to the properties. Uh, I leave my uh, IPv6 disabled because I have a custom DNS server. But as for lowering your ping, what you could do is go to uh, use Cloudflare and type 1.1.1.1. So if I were to delete all this, 
So it's like one, oop, I have no muck off. 1.1.1.1, one dot one dot one dot one, then as for the secondary DNS, you can have that. Cloudflare's DNS, let me uh, let me pull up their site. So if we go to 1.1.1.1, one dot one dot one dot one, um, you can read through all of this. Basically, it tells you it's very fast and really secure. They don't keep any logs and they do a comparison. If you use a Cloudflare's DNS, you'll have a lower ping. If you were to use Google's DNS, uh, you'll have a 35 ping. So this is the fastest DNS resolver there is, and they don't log any traffic. Um, actually, I need to specify that they do, but they dump it after 24 hours. They don't. They don't keep, pay attention to that. Anyways, I don't want to change my DNS. I already have a custom uh, DNS server that's relaying over towards the Cloudflare's DNS. So, uh, depending if you want to use Cloudflare's DNS or Google's DNS or Open DNS or whatever, um, use different types of connections, and it would help you reroute things. So instead of me being routed towards, okay, so I'm gonna be on this server. Instead of me being routed towards on this server, it might route me towards to a different uh, Comcast node, or it might keep me the same if it's gonna be the shortest length uh, for the lower ping to get to the next destination that is a value towards your connections. If that made any sense, I doubt that it did. <laughs> it did in my head. Um, if this video was uh, helpful, please go ahead and drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications. Again, again, use my supporter credit code into the item shop to check at least once a week. Ninja, Tifu, Daquan, TSM Myth, Dakotas, respect out to them, you know, uh, but they're already well established. They, they have brands, they have money. I'm just a small content creator trying to get that money. So yeah, use, use my supporter creator code. I need a piece of that pie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to play the rest of this game and close out of it. You guys have a great weekend. Y'all take care. Peace. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.